In this video we'll discuss a few more of the new features uh, that were added to make working with checkbox columns in the grid component uh, easier. So in the previous uh, video uh, we showed how when you um, check a, uh, a row uh, there's some t uh, a message that gets written over there so you can see there as I click that row it says row number five the value is true, row number five the value is false. Well that's achieved by um, setting uh, a new property over here in system events. You'll see here that there's a new um, method, uh, there's a new event in a system events called on grid row check that fires whenever the uh, checkbox is checked or unchecked and all we're doing is we've defined a div uh, in the grid and we're setting the message in the grid to um, this text over here, e dot row number and e dot uh, checkbox value. You can see that those are the two um, uh, values inside the e object that is passed into the event handler. So uh, in order to do this I just simply went over here to the uh, uh, freeform declarations above the grid and I put in a div that has an ID of message and then um, in my system events over here I just simply set the uh, uh, set value single which is the same as setting the inner HTML of a div I set the, uh, the, the value of this message div to this variable message which contains the row number and the, uh, uh, the state of the uh, checkbox uh, field so you can see there we wrote row number two value is true now we go there row number one value is true, now it's row number one value is false. So the final thing that I'd like to point out is um, how uh, uh, using checkbox columns in your custom Ajax callbacks is also easier. So you can see now that uh, I've defined a, um, an xBasic function uh, here uh, called foo which uh, doesn't actually do anything um, in fact, I'm going to just uh, delete those lines over there. I'm just simply going to open up the debugger when this event is uh, is called. So let's go ahead now and uh, click the Save button. And uh, then you can see here that for this button, row is checked. Uh, I'm doing a custom Ajax callback that is calling this function foo. So let's go now and uh, run this grid and I'm going to go there and check that row, that row, that row, and that row and then I'm going to press this button to actually do the callback and I'm going to look inside uh, E, obviously there's a lot more inside E than uh, that I'm showing over here here's the full contents of E but the uh, the values in E that I'd like to point out are these new values now that that are automatically placed into the uh, E object for for uh, your custom Ajax callbacks. So you'll see that the first value in E is something called the checkbox filter, and this is the uh, filter command that uh, you would need to execute on the server if you wanted to select all of the records that were currently checked. So this is a xBasic uh, filter command. Uh, in the case of a DBF, this is the filter command that, that you would use to select the records that, that were checked. These other two uh, properties here are really only relevant for a SQL database. So let's uh, pause now and uh, show exactly how this works for a SQL database.